we've been working with this design trying to reduce the file size and improve performance. We've made some progress, but I'm still puzzled as to why this drawing is over three megabytes in size. The next thing that puzzles me, if we go to layers, notice there's a layer called layer one, and there are 43 objects on it. We do have a tool in GK Plus to isolate a layer. And if we go and pick layer one, it'll turn all the other layers off. So if we come back here now, notice that these are all off, but layer one is on 43 entities on it. Now, I'm here in model space, and if I zoom extents, zoom out a little slowly, and then put a crossing window through here, as far as I can see, there's nothing there. And the same applies to the layouts. Quite often people will put information in the layout zone. And the plant list, we can zoom out a little. All we should see in the layout is just the sheet of paper. Again. And again. So it's really only the well, they all look the same. The grid is on in the notes layer. That's used for lining things up. So I am puzzled and I'm going to stop and do some more searching. Why on earth will we have something with, there are 43 objects, entities, they could be anything, lines, circles, blocks, the whole lot. Very strange. It could, of course, be a... If we go back to the model and go to layers here, whoops, and turn all use layers on, it could of course be, why didn't that work? Layers, all use layers on, regenerate, zoom extents, there we are. The only suggestion I can offer at this stage is that entities might be hidden away inside blocks, symbols. And if we go to the symbols list here, looking at the blocks, and I scroll down through here, there are an awful lot of blocks in the drawing. I'll mark display base point because that's been turned off. That enables us to click in here and that little marker there shows the base point so that blocks not being made with a correct base point we like it in the center of the symbol that one's off this one's fine there's the red cross the red cross should be in the center of symbols most of these are fine they were blackberries a lot of blackberries are very similar there's another one that's way off. There's the zero base point there and the symbol up here. But I digress. I need to find something on layer, layer one that might well be hidden in one of these blocks. So I really need to go through the blocks one by one. Notice that if we scroll down through here, this one, this information here is important. That tells us that there are 36 objects inside that block and four references. So there are four of those plants in the design. There's one with 222. Now, one would imagine that we could, we could make life a lot simpler. That seems to be a very complex, if we say, edit it. And what we've got, what are these? These are polylines, filled polylines. Look at them all around here now. I'd argue that gives you no value whatsoever. By the time you see that symbol, these little um, markers, presumably the plants, 
is has these little flecks around the outside of part of the the fruiting structure or whatever but i think that's totally wasted and i would simplify this enormously and would get rid of them however what i was interested in that's going to be tedious i have to go through these and see that's on layer zero and what i can do is just select all of those and they're on the layer varies but is layer one we can certainly move it away from layer one it says it varies so mm, that's fraught with danger because we would normally put all those on plant simple and then close the block editor so i'm sure you get my point i need to work through all of those blocks and we're looking for entities that are hidden away on layer one and who knows that might be slowing things down but there's an awful lot of too much detail in the blocks here and i think we can simplify it and that will reduce the file size one thing worth trying since we've just moved all entities onto layers plant symbol might be worth us trying tools isolate a layer and isolate the layer that contains all of the fancy plant symbols we should find the construction layer turned off but we can isolate this one mm, that's quite helpful we can see these this layer here which label rather that is on the wrong layer we want that on the smart label layer this is some hatching that probably best put back onto layer zero just select all of these they should all be on that layer it doesn't say that it varies so i'm relatively happy there these are all symbols just scrolling through looks to be okay well let's continue hunting let's see if we can find the first of these blocks i think this is an overkill but let's see if we can locate it it's achillea millifolium so we'll close and go to gcat plus we have a tool for search symbol botanical name is Achillea. We'll just dive in with that. And this block down here, any block with the name Achillea shows that one, that one. But I think there are two Achilleas in here. So we'll just fix this area, zoom in, release our tool. That's Achillea nobilis, and this one here, Achillea nobilis. We want Achillea millifolium. So let's try again. Search the symbol Achillea miller. That should find it. And we'll OK it. Oh, it's right next door. There it is. Are there any others? Now there's just one entry in the whole drawing. So if we zoom in on it, is there a real benefit of having literally dozens and dozens of those small um, magenta blobs to give us the impression of the arrowhead? It's an umbiliferous uh, plant. And it's the same as this one here. I would argue that we can probably simplify both of those considerably and that would reduce our size and response time in the handling the drawing will reduce. Well, we'll edit and jump into that symbol and I'm going to be brave and take all of this away, make a little magenta 
polyvine that's closed and we'll pop it on to plant symbol then we'll move it in in here and then copy it two or three times and maybe rotate one of them and maybe even scale it to give it a different size then we'll copy that one there then there there now let's close that block editor and you can see we've updated the symbol i don't expect any particular change in file size but let's look file size 3128 that has come down significantly we could do the same in the other example let's do it we'll edit the block this is a circle in color 255 so let's just move it out here oh it's got an underlying color as well that's good for for us let's delete and Let's scale this a little, do the same thing, scale it to about there, we'll copy it. This is quite crude design work, we'll just pop those in a little circular array, like so, and then just maybe copy them up there and across, and then close. Now I should have paid attention to the list save to the file size. We'll go to tools and purge any unused objects. Shouldn't be any because we've just edited them, but they have to be a lot smaller. 3022. I think we are coming down quite quickly. Let's go to blocks here. And previously it said 38. 888 were entities in it and this one similar sort 870 let's close because we think we've simplified that we'll close we'll save we'll close we'll open up again just have another look at that because Uh -huh. This time from 800 to 8 and the Achillea 13. So can you see we are simplifying those blocks and we are, take it from me, we are reducing the file size in this case. Those simple steps there reduced it significantly. So we're going to have to work our way through all of these symbols, but we'll just pick the ones with hundreds if not thousands of entities in them as we've done here when we've done that we hope that the drawing is a little more stable we still have that problem of the missing entities on layer one